on. Hey, this is Kerry D. Singleton from Intrigue Magazine, and we're here with the cast of If Loving You Is Wrong. Is it wrong? Is it wrong? I don't know. I'm single, so I don't know. Yeah, so it's always wrong for me. Wish Hey, so what's your name, sweetie? Hello there. I'm sorry about that. My name is April Parker Jones. I play Natalie on If Loving You Is Wrong. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Elton e. Williams. I play the infamous Randall on If Loving You Is Wrong. Okay, so now one thing my brother Randall just said, or the character Randall said, infamy. What does that mean? Like, give me a little bit of, like, Tyler Perry is known for infamous uh, roles that he creates. So what's, what's infamous about your role, brother? What I want to say, uh, Randall, is definitely the character you love to hate. You know, you know that person that... The person that uh, you come up to on the street, you you just have all this pent up aggression that you just want to talk to. You know, I I don't want to tell you about yourself for for years now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he just he just he beats uh, march to the beat of his own drum yeah. and just and just it's a nutty nutty drum. You know, he's a fun nut. He's a fun nut. Hashtag fun nut. What do you like, like an M and M peanut or something? That's my favorite candy. <laughs> so maybe. Hey, there you go. Is that yours too? Peanut. Yes. Yes, please. peanut M and M. Just like my mom. Yep. Yes. So talk to me about your character, sweetie. She She's just awesome, and she's uh, she's a, she's a hardworking woman. She uh, has four kids, and she's kind of the mama bear of the group. You know, she's the one in the group who tells it like it is, Absolutely. and she ain't afraid to cut somebody. Absolutely. How does it feel for both of you? I know I'm supposed to only ask one question, but hey, it is what it is. We in New York City, right? What is it like working with Tyler Perry? It's a dream come true, and it's a lesson in how work ethic is. Yeah. This man is nonstop, and everything that he's gotten in life is because he's worked hard for it, yeah. and we see it firsthand. Yeah. So his, definitely his work ethic has been quite inspiring. Is this your first role, brother? Uh, this is my first role with Tyler Perry, but no, not my first role. But I've been in the game for, for you know for a few years now, about, t t about 10, 12 years, yeah. Like, yeah, a lot of TV, um, you know, guest stars and co-stars. My first series regular. Mine too. Yes. It's my first series regular. I pre Tyler, thank you. I appreciate you. This is my thank first you, series brother. regular. Yeah. Sorry for the one mic thing. That was my idea. Just trying to. But I do. I, 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 I see. That's what I. And that's why I tried to do it. If you had one, both of you asked the same question. If you had one thing to say to our intrigue readers and those watching on our YouTube channel who want to be where you're at in the game, uh, what advice would you give them? Ladies first. Perseverance, find a mentor, and know exactly why you want to do it. Okay. Yeah. I think it's really all about finding, following your dream, knowing what you want to do, having a vision, and going for it. Um, that's the number one thing, and stick to it. Believe in yourself because you know no one else is going to believe as much as you can. Okay, let them know once and for all the name of the show and where they can catch it. Okay, the show premieres tomorrow night, Wednesday at 10 p.m. on OWN. I'm April Parker Jones. I play Natalie on Tyler Perry's Loving You Is Wrong. There you go. Elton e. Williams, I play Randall on If Loving You Is Wrong. Tune in tomorrow. Tonight. Intrigue Magazine, we're here with the cast for If Loving You Is Wrong, the new Tyler Perry dramatic sitcom. Yeah. We know it. Yes. I can't wait to see. The, the, I can't wait to see. I just can't wait to see. Let's take some pictures and thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having us. Thank you, brother. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> really? Not anymore. Uh, but you I I no, I would never yeah. call for it. Hold on, hold on. You said you wanted to switch. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not I'm, a I'm a little uh, uh, germaphobe. <laughs> yeah, the cold's been gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. She's dealing with the flu and the measles now. <laughs> Just trying to loosen you up a little bit. Oh, My sister right here, she's so like... We feel, so we feel better like, about that. This ain't funny. Get the hell out of here. Who, you got one minute. Yeah, you got half a second. I'm Kerry D. Singleton from Intrigue Magazine. I'm well, and I'm here to interview you about the haves and the half nots, okay? Oh, I thought this was about another show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that yeah. will not be. Because then I'll be... And you probably got the, you're probably recording this, aren't you? Yeah. Does the bloopers things? All right, this is Kerry D. Singleton. I'm here with Intrigue Magazine, and we're interviewing the cast of the Haves and the Haves Not. They think that I'm sick, and that I'm going to give them all kinds of oogies and things. And now, look at this. She's all covered. She's like, oh my God, get over, get this New York guy away. Ah, oh. but no, I'm good. Um, talk to me about what it's like to be on the show and um, to be here at this very, very moment. And introduce yourself, if you could, please. Uh, my name is Tyler Lepley. It feels great to be here in New York, uh, besides the fact that it's freezing out. <laughs> um, and it feels, you know what, it feels great to have everybody show up to, um, you know, s support something that we've worked so hard um, 
to to put the time and the work into it. You know what I mean? It's been five. She's five years already, and um, you know, still number one. Fans are still showing love. You know, whether it's in the streets or on Twitter, so it feels good. No, we're super. We're all really excited to be here. We're grateful for the support. We're grateful that you guys took the time out of your day to come and support us and ask us questions. So, I mean, the fans have been incredible to us. So, we're just we're grateful. <laughs> now, if you <laughs> if you were to give some advice to aspiring actors and actresses uh, who want to get into to dr drama, as you all three have successfully done. What advice would you give them? And I want you to give that, uh, give a piece of advice individually. individually. You can um, I would say that, <laughs> decide if you want to be famous or if you want to actually just work. You know, if you're in it for the fame, there's other ways to get that. But if you're in it for the work, I would say take classes, you know, if you can go to school for it, um, if you can. Um, I took a lot of classes in New York. And then just, you know, theater, you know, start in theater. I wish I started in theater. Um, this is a Broadway star, so, uh, <laughs> like, I bow down to her. Um, and I, that's, how, that's what I would say, start there. Ditto. Ditto. And it, just be sure it's something you love. So many people pursue acting, you know, there's nobody, nobody walks down the street and say, and says, I want to be a prima ballerina and think they can walk into the audition mm -hmm. and book it. Nobody says, I'm going to be a classical pianist and think they can just walk in there. But everybody thinks they can be an actor and walk in the door and do it. And it's a craft just like those other things are craft. And so take it seriously and love it and do the work. And, and it will be rewarding no matter what level you're doing it on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that yeah, couldn't have said it better. I mean, I th th there's there's a saying that's, um, it's like, there's, you know, there's, there's 10 years behind every overnight success that you see, right? Oh, so it's like, you know, to kind of pi piggyback what the ladies were, uh, off of what the ladies were saying, you know, you really, get, you know, to, to get there, you got you got to be about the work because it's really all about that. So, you know, just develop your craft. I'll hold it like this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the advice. Uh, the haves and the haves nots is coming on when and where? Tonight, Tuesday, on the Oprah Winfrey Network, 9A Central. Make sure you all check in. I'm about to, to get some Theraflu, and we can all watch together, all right? <laughs> Intrigue Magazine, let's go. <laughs> He's like, nah, no pound for that guy. Intrigue Magazine, let's go, yo. <laughs>
to, to, to appear again. Uh, could you please? I'm trying to answer my question. I'm loving this right now. No, this is all this is all organic right here. You didn't fix it when you were talking. Um, you know what? It is just a, and you still talking to it's it's a wonderful, wonderful experience to just be back. And now be on own with Oprah Winfrey's network. I mean, it's that's great. So I might probably should not be asking this, but you gonna vote for Oprah if she runs in 2020? Nine o'clock. We ain't got nothing to say. We got no comment. We if. love Oprah. We love her. Speech. If no, we ain't doing it. Well, I would. I would. I would. Now, now, what, 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 what do you feel about directing and writing as far as as far as uh, sitcoms are concerned? Directing and writing? Yes. I would love to do it eventually. That's uh, in my mind. That's in my future. So I would love to get into directing and then later writing. So um, yeah. Jack A. Comedy or drama? Which do you enjoy doing more? Uh, drama. Drama. I really do. That's how I started. That's how she started. That's how he started. We just happen to be funny. And I don't mean it trivial. I don't trivialize it because we are funny. And it, your, your career gets long, elongated with, with, with comedy. You can act longer because you get older. But if I had my choice, I'd be doing one hour dramas. I'd be the star of one of, one of them shows. Yeah. And I'm going to ask uh, one more question um, Film or live theater? Live theater. Oh, there is nothing more gratifying than that instant gratification. Just with a house of strangers and everyone laughing at the same time and everyone gasping at the same time and just experiencing the whole moment together at the same time. But now that pay on that film. Huh? It's, yeah. It's six and one and a half dozen and up. But if I were to just be true to the craft and the art, it's live theater. Nothing like it. Thank you guys so much for talking to Intrigue Magazine. If you had one thing that you could say to our Intrigue Magazine listeners uh, who are listening uh, on our YouTube, watching and listening on our YouTube channel, they want to be where you are at. What do they need to be doing to get there? Never give up. Yeah. And stay interested and stay engaged in the politics that's going on with our people, particularly people of color. You know what I was going to say? Stay intrigued. <laughs> if not stay intrigued, get intrigued. You know, just get interested in something other than bling bling right. and all of that stuff because you know you're gonna have to show up on time mm -hmm. you're gonna have to have a roof over your head you're gonna have to have your water on you know you're gonna have to do the basics before you're able to be blessed to carry on you know the task at hand so you don't have to really take care of a whole lot of things before you just bust out and just be an overnight sensation there, there are a lot of requirements and so mm -hmm. we need to just Stay intrigued. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. I wish you all the success in the world. Fridays, 9 uh, Central, 9 Eastern, 8 Central on OM, The Pains. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you.